My name is Mike Knipstra. Uh, I own Quick's Barbershop right here behind us. And uh, been here for three years now. It was uh, it was kind of progressive. I started cutting really young at the house, 12, 13, um, cutting my own hair. And then at that point, I didn't know I wanted to be a barber. I was just trying to get myself a decent haircut. And then uh, kind of just turned into, you know, enjoying the craft more, cutting my friends, family members. Um, I had to say, I didn't know I, was, I wanted to be a barber until about 2009. 2009 and I had already been cutting hair a lot at that point and I was um, decent decently skilled but um it wasn't until that point that I actually said you know what, I'm gonna go to school I'm gonna do this for real uh, this is this is what I want to do and uh, so yeah 2009 2009 so stemming off of the last question 2009 go sign up for barber school toward the end of the year uh, at the time I was working full-time at uh, Perkins restaurant and uh, so quit my job put my two weeks in went to school full-time and in 2010 I graduated I worked at two different barber shops for uh, about nine months each and uh, each situation wasn't a good fit for me for um, different reasons but um, looking around at the market where I was at, I didn't find any place that I fell in love with that I wanted to work at. So I jumped really early into uh, ownership. Uh, looked at probably five or six spaces. Uh, when I found the shop I ended up opening, I knew it when I saw it. I knew when I walked up to it, it looked like it was meant to be a barbershop. It had the door in the middle, glass front. Uh, it was on the corner. Uh, a busy street downtown uh, Spokane Washington and um, the biggest challenge man there was so many challenges you know obtaining a space was a challenge um, having no business history you know uh, at that point my credit you know not having the credit to show that you know I was in a position to, to do this um, but uh you know somebody took a chance on me I was able to connect with with a, a guy John Urquhart and uh, he uh, he gave me a shot, and I, I ended up, you know, having that shop for ten years, over ten years, uh, until about a year ago, uh, I actually let it go out out there. So um, there was so many challenges, though, trying to figure out how to staff. Like I had no idea how to start. Um, thankfully, I had some good people in my corner. The the school that I attended, Total Cosmetology Training Center. Uh, the owner, Barb Berry, who's still a, a close friend of mine today. Uh, after I graduated, she would invite me to the school to, uh, you know, share, do a demo with the, with the students. And I didn't really realize what, how much she was really helping me out, but that created a connection relationship between me and the students, um, new ones, ones about to graduate. So then from there, um, you know, Barbers would come and inquires come by the shop looking for a job and stuff. So, um, a lot of challenges though, man. I mean, still so many challenges. I've, I've, I've been in business since, uh, like I said, 2010, so 12 years now, and, and still feeling like I just have figured out this much. You know, there's so much more to learn. Still facing a lot of challenges, uh, but those are some of some of them. Just starting out, yeah. The best thing about being a barbershop owner, you know, I mean, I say the best thing about being a barber first, uh, just because I feel like that's the first step before being a barbershop owner. The best, the best thing about being a barber is the relationships. It, I mean, you're really, truly rich in your relationships because you're able to, you know, come in contact with so many people, but not only come in contact with somebody, but you're in a position where people come to you um, and, and they really put their trust in you. So so for those 30 minutes or for that hour, um, to, a, to a certain extent, they let their guard down with you and it's an opportunity for you to show a person, to show your clients and to show 
people that, hey, I'm somebody that you can come, you know, trust and you can be comfortable here. This is a good environment, safe environment. Nobody's gonna judge you here. Nobody's gonna mess with you here. You're gonna get a great service. Um, so, so I would say that about being a barber, you know, being a barbershop owner, I, I think it's that times, you know, however many, because now having these young barbers in the barbershop and being a part of them developing their skills and developing their customer service and developing their relationships, you know, and, and I, I see, it's cool to see people fall more and more in love with what I'm in love with, you know, cause um, I, I really love barbering. You know, I love the craft itself, the environment, everything about it, you know, the connections. And then the business side of it too is very, you know, I love the business side because it's a challenge. It's always a challenge and it's something, no matter where you have worked to, there's always more levels to get to. It's just a matter of what you want to do and where you, you where you're shooting for. Uh, but really, you know, being a barbershop owner right now, I would say just working with these, these young, super, super talented barbers. Um, I mean, some of them, most of them haven't even been in the game a year and their skills are so advanced you know from where i was at at that point and uh it's just cool to be a part of man it's fun to be a part of it's inspiring it's motivating it keeps things lively and colorful and, and so yeah i would say that about being a shop owner <laughs> man yeah always always you know um first first thing that comes to mind right now uh, I'm, I'm doing a lot of work with uh, Johnny B Hair Care. I've uh, been traveling, educating with them. Um, continue to, you know, work with Johnny B along with my team and, and, and get them in as, as involved as, as they would like to be because it's, it's a great partnership that has opened up a network, um, you know, to the industry that uh, never really had before. Um, so pursuing, continuing to pursue that, um, you know, partnership with the team. Um, SMP is a big thing right now. SMP is huge and it, it really has only scratched the surface. So I, I've been trained by uh, Eduardo Nunez, who is SMP Barber on Instagram. Uh, super, super skilled, super respected in the industry of SMP uh, nationwide. Really, he's connected with some of the, the top guys, the big dogs in SMP. And so uh, I had the opportunity to train with him. My next step with that, I would like the whole team. I would like, he's, he's gonna come in and, 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 and we're gonna get the team trained on the procedure of how to perform the SMP and really start to develop that as a unit so that Quick's Barbershop is known here in Gilbert, Queen Creek, the whole East Valley really in the, in the whole valley is, hey, that's a, a, a respected, not only barbershop, but that's a respected SMP barbershop, and they do it, you know, regularly. It's a it's a regular service we see happening in there, and they do it at a high level. And um, I, I really feel like that's already in motion, but really the next big big thing when it really gets to the masses of people and more people know about it, then people are going to be looking. Where in my area can I get this? I want I want Quick's Barbershop to be that. Um, you know, as far as like locations. Um, you know, I, I've, I've had goals of opening 10 shops, you know, 20 barbershops. And then I said, maybe that's not the route I wanna take. Maybe it's something else. And I'm in this educating lane right now and I'm, I'm really finding a passion for the educating and working with the students and the youth. And uh, that's a big part. I really wanna see where that goes um, because it, it's kind of scratched something in, in me that, that have really has me motivated and inspired and, and fulfilled, you know, I, I'm very fulfilled in uh, sharing and, and, and being able to do, even if it's just a little bit or reach one person in the crowd when I when I speak, you know, and share, um, that really does a lot, you know, so so really, you know, seeing where, where that's gonna go. Um, so yeah, so, some of those things, man, I, I could go on and on about the different things, my ideas and things, you know, on this journey, it's like, I personally have a, a vision 
but there's certain parts of the vision that are not like in all the way clear focus so as i continue it gets clearer and clearer and kind of takes those little turns and the cool thing you know about like what you really have to do to continue making sure you take those turns is you have to put yourself out there and your skills and your gifts kind of come to the surface you know and then you can see okay i didn't know that this was a strong area for me but now you can you know focus in that and that's how people find their their niches you know like people say they call it niches so um still continue to explore what, what was out there you know and, and really where i fit in as far as um, my role in this industry but definitely i, I mean my goal is to continue to, to climb continue to learn uh continue to network and become better uh but not just me but the whole team really it, it, you know it doesn't do any good for for me or just a couple other barbers to be operating at this you know certain level all of us got to be there so that's that's really where i'm going um and we'll see you know where that takes us Message to the youth. Well, that, that, that was good, good timing for that one. Kind of stemming off of the last question again. Um, you know, I'm gonna let these cars go by. Um, when it comes to the youth, it, it's like, there's so many things, you know, there's so many things that, that you gotta have in play to, but I, I would say number one, just keep pushing, like keep going because don't never compare yourself to anybody else's progress. Don't ever compare yourself to anybody as a person. You really have to, if this is something that you that you have a passion for or even or just have an interest in, it it takes a lifetime. And even after a lifetime, I would say you still have more to learn, you know. So continue to push. Don't give up because there's gonna be so many obstacles along the way um, that really you just have to get comfortable with that. You have to get comfortable saying, hey, I know there's never a point where I get to where I stop facing challenges. If I wanna get better and I wanna continue to grow, it's gonna be challenges, there's gonna be obstacles, there's gonna be tough times. Sometimes it's gonna make you question, am, am, I, am I supposed to be in this? Am I supposed to be doing it? Uh, you are if you say you are. You know, you are if you say you are, and, and that's not, not for anybody else to say, um, but you really can do anything you want to do. We hear that a lot, it's very, you know, you can do whatever you want to do, but I mean, it's just a matter of steps. Whatever you want to do might look like the top of a mountain, and yeah, you're not going to jump from the bottom to the top, there's no way, it's not possible. But you can take a step every single day towards the top, and before you know it, you're gonna look back and be like, man, I, I've made some serious you know, progress here. And finding a balance of appreciating and feeling a sense of accomplishment from where you've come, but also keeping focused on where you're going. But it's a good balance of both of those because if you only look at what you haven't done, you're gonna get discouraged. Sometimes you have to look and say, okay, I have, I have accomplished something, so this is, this is my motivation. This is gonna keep me going get to where you know where i'm trying to be and once you get there you might be like you know what there's a higher higher mountain i want to climb it and, and keep going so um just keep taking steps don't give up you know believe in yourself because uh you have to you, you have to you don't have to believe that you're the best and you don't even have to strive to be the absolute best but be the best you can be uh don't try to be the best of you know be the best that you can be and you'll find your lane you will find your lane there's a there's a lane for everybody who has a passion and a drive to do this so i would just say get in if you're going to get in and keep and, and keep going don't don't stop don't stop at the side and when you do have those accomplishments don't don't even stop to celebrate you know just keep why you push and pat yourself on the back and keep going you know just keep going that's really if i just had to sum it up just keep going take the shears and I pull a rubber band kind of away from her scalp because it was real close to her scalp and she she reached back and she says no no I want I want as much in there as possible uh, so I'm like all right well I, I cut in real close to the scalp so I work my way through the ponytail and it's probably this long 
and this is the beginning of the cut and i just cut a ball patch like literally 